this is Rex from Rex Recites, speaking to you again from Bellwood, the retirement community which I have lived now for just over two years. Actually, I came here the 1st of September in 2014 and had been here two months when I experienced the first Bellwood Halloween party. And I had managed to get uh, part of a T-Rex costume. You might have noticed my T-Rex badge. I don't think I mentioned it before that I've been wearing for, for a year and a half now. I gained this nickname T-Rex uh, soon after I got here on this Halloween, first Halloween party that, that I mentioned. So what I found in the costume store was the T-Rex, they call it a helmet or a mask, like this. And the night of the party, I went in like this and confronted the crowd that was there. And I began immediately going like this and roaring around, around the room, around the room, around the room. And a couple of times while I was doing that, a couple of the staff members who were attending the party came up to me and said, Rex, you better tone your demonstra demonstration down just a little bit because some of the people are getting a little bit upset and you roared at them. And so I did that. But anyway, since then, uh, the, the nickname has stuck with me and everybody knows me now as T-Rex. Now, about uh, six weeks ago, one of the ladies here fixed up a display of masks, what she called masks of the world, in one of the display cabinets in one of the hallways. And uh, my T-Rex mask was there, was there. And it stayed up there for about a month. And so uh, she decided after several weeks to take it down and to close the program, to close the display with giving a program one afternoon talking about the masks of the world, including the mask of T-Rex. And the program was scheduled to be about two o'clock one afternoon, and I of course had thought all the time that I would attend it. Attend it. However, that morning, but mid-morning, I said to myself, you know, I should write a poem about a poem about rhinoceroses. So I decided to write a poem about dinosaurs to deliver at this program of the uh, that was being given about the mass. And so the poem goes like this. And it's a mixture, by the way, of fact and fancy, but more fact, or more fancy than fact. So anyway, for over 150 million years, other Earth creatures showed the dinosaurs great fears. For the dinos were fierce and cannibalistic, so they ruled the Earth in a way very holistic. This was especially true of Tyrannosaurus rex because he slash she was of indeterminate sex. And so the little babies that were produced were all ready to vex. Now, a representative, a representative son of Clan T-Rex lives in Bellwood is all ready to mix with female residents of great successes in his search for the next Mrs. T. Rexus. So this last verse got a good reception when I read it at the program. So the next day I went around the dining room as if people were waiting to be served to eat and read the poem at all the tables, the last verse of the poem at all the tables where the women were sitting. And this got a, a good reception, and it's reception at last, all around the dining room. And so my reputation as, as a romantic T 
T-Rex gained by leaps and bounds. And this was sort of a follow-up in a way uh, to National Hugging Day, which occurs on January 21st every year, which happens to be the day after my birthday. So last January 21st, I went around all the dining room tables containing women and asked them if they knew this was National Hugging Day, and nobody did, but I told them it was. And so I proceeded to hug, hug in a light, in a light-hearted fashion, all the women that day in the dining room. If you've enjoyed this poem, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe below. Hugs and kisses from T-Rex. Goodbye.